Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through installing Kubernetes into an air-gapped VM. We're going to use an embedded single node cluster that we've built with curl.sh. curl.sh is an open source project sponsored by Replicated that allows you to easily build and download a big tarball that contains all the necessary Kubernetes pieces for an embedded cluster, or if you'd rather, and you're online, you can run a single one-liner that uh, will automatically install into your shell. So I've already set up my air-gapped environment. We have a jump box, which is going to be my proxy into my air-gapped VM. And we have an air-gapped VM that only has an internal IP and is totally blocked from any SSH connection other than from the jump box. So I'll demonstrate that right now. Uh, we can see that if I try to SSH directly to my air gapped VM, <clears throat> our SSH will time out because that port is not even open. So I will cancel that um, and I will demonstrate that I do have the ability to SSH into the air gapped VM from the jump box. So you can see that this is the prompt from the jump box and from the jump box, I can SSH into the air gapped cluster VM soon to be cluster. Uh, you can see that my prompt changes each time so we can we can tell where we are. Um, I'll back out of both of these. Um, there my screen. So the first step is to download the AirGap tarball bundle. Uh, you can see that this link is available from curl.sh. That's curl with a K. And you can copy the URL or directly download it using that that command there. So I will, um, I've already downloaded that. So that's uh, 3.6 megs, uh, gigs, excuse me. So it takes a while. So I've already downloaded it. Um, and the next step is to SCP that up, copy that up to the jump box. So we'll copy that up. Um, I've already done that as well just to save time for this demo. So we will SSH into the jump box and verify that file exists. There it is. Now our next step is to upload that directly to the air gapped VM. So using the same command, the different target. So we're gonna copy that up the air gapped box. Now we can see that since we're on a pretty fast infrastructure, um, private subnet to private subnet, we're going pretty quickly. Usually this takes more than a couple of minutes. And after we do this, we're going to SSH into the air gapped VM. We'll unpack this tarball and then we'll just install using the provided bash script. Well, it's almost done. Not bad. So now let's SSH into the air gapped VM and verify. Yep, we've got that tarball there. Let's untar that. Tar XVF will extract that out to the current directory. This will take a little bit of time since it contains 3.6 gigs of packed components that Kubernetes will use to self-assemble an embedded cluster. Now this, this cluster will start out as a single, single instance, but we can add nodes as necessary once this cluster is bootstrapped. So this will take a little time to unpack once it's unpacked, we'll run the install script, which is called install.sh. 
and it will install all of these unpacked components into a running Kubernetes system. I'm going to stop the share here, let everything run its course, and then we'll resume when everything is, is done. All right, so everything is done. It's actually a little bit quicker than I thought. I will just run this command. So we're going to cat the install script and pipe this into bash with the air gap switch. So the air gap switch lets the script know that we're going to look for all these components locally instead of pulling them from online locations. Let's run this. Now I know for a fact that this script is going to take a few minutes to run, so I'll pause the recording and resume when this is complete. Okay, we're back. That didn't take too long. I think that was uh, just enough time to grab a cup of coffee. We can see here that the installation is complete. Um, I can reload my bash shell to make use of kubectl, kubectl. You can see here from some of the other output that uh, Prometheus, Grafana, and Alert Manager have been installed. Uh, let's, let's look at some of the other components that uh, yeah, have been installed as well. Let's see, we've got crew. So some plugins for our kubectl commands. We also have an internal container registry installed as well, because in your air gapped environments, it'll, it'll be important to have somewhere to push Docker images into. Um, now we can easily verify that Kubernetes is up and running because we can see the namespaces have been installed and we have access to kubectl now. So if you want to learn a little bit more uh, about the components installed via curl with a K, you can visit curl.sh and build your own air gapped Kubernetes embedded single node cluster. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video where I will show the easy installation of enterprise applications into an existing embedded air gapped cluster.